Hey Aquarius, what's up? Okay, I know you guys are so happy. I'm not singing, entering this reading. I know I am. Beloved, it's like, just flow with it, just go with it. So I'm so happy I don't have to break into a, re a reading with a crazy voice. <laughs> like, Okay, but either way, I hope you guys are enjoying your weekend. It's Halloween weekend, so I hope you guys are enjoying it. Either way, let's go ahead and get into your message. See what's up. Beloved, what's the energy for Aquarius, please? What's the energy for Aquarius, please? Ew. Wow. One second, Aquarius. Okay. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Okay, Aquarius. So we have speak your mind. You know, Aquarius, you've been holding back, right? There are some things that you or someone in this energy need to get off your chest. Until now, you've kind of been afraid to really express yourself, express the things that were left unsaid um, to really finish off whatever was started, right? So I feel like you're in this energy of... I need to say something. I can't keep going over and over this in my mind without actually expressing what it is that I feel. And I feel like since this energy is coming up, um, it's definitely around this time, fall time. She got on a jacket. He has on a, uh, uh, a, a trench coat, <laughs> okay, man bag, all that. So it's definitely around this time, right? So it's time to speak up, to allow your voice, your voice to be heard, to stop holding back because <clears throat> I noticed my throat chakra is starting to mess up. So it's definitely time to stop being afraid and say what you need to say. Speak what you need to speak and let your voice be heard in whatever the situation is. You know, something left unsaid can really like plague your mind for, you know, years and years. Say what you need to say. Worst thing that can happen is, you know, you don't hear what you want to hear. But at least you know that you are true to yourself, you know. Either way, let's see what's up. What's going on for Aquarius, please? What's the message for Aquarius, please? What's the message for Aquarius, please? All right. Thank you. Seven of Cups. See, that's all those things that you wish you would have said. Um, you could be a, uh, a Capricorn cusp. I don't know why I'm getting all this wishing energy again. But there's a lot of things that you wish you would have said, things you wish you would have done that would have helped you to keep your power or not giving your power away. But now is the time to take your power back, Aquarius, because the first card out is Strength. You are strong enough, okay? The minute that you actually, like, say something, you take your power back, okay? Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, you've been thinking about it. Let me get the cards out. Eight of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. Um, the Chariot. The Three of Wands. I don't know why my cards have been so, or the, the camera has been so blurry lately. Like, it never, ever used to look like that. Maybe it's time to upgrade. Okay, Queen of Wands, the High Priestess, Seven of Pentacles, Will of Fortune, Four of Cups. I want one more, beloved. One more, please. Thank you. Ooh, in the Three of Cups. That's what I'm talking about, Aquarius. This thing, wow. This thing that you didn't take care of in the past or whatever, that thing is what you need to take care of. Once you take care of whatever was left unsaid in the past, okay, that becomes a non-factor and you're able to move forward in your life no matter how like that situation may turn out. You're able to move forward in your life. The storm will be behind you, right? Because maybe you've been in the storm. Maybe you've been going through a storm. Maybe you've been through emotional turmoil. It's time to free yourself, release yourself. Because I see you got everything you need 
to actually like get past this, get over it or whatever the case may be, right? Yeah. You know, Aquarius, I don't know if it, this is you or who this is, but somebody developed a damn drinking problem behind this, um, this situation because it was so hard on them, right? You could be dealing with a cap or have thrown Capricorn in your chart or something because that song is coming up from the Capricorn read again. You won't break my soul. You won't break my soul. You won't break my soul. This might be a song of, of rejoicing after you say what you need to say because there's definitely something about having a talk here, right? Definitely something about talking something out, something that, you know, you haven't said that's been left unsaid. You have a choice, an option. You can go back and you can keep like um, looking back at the past or you can move forward. Like there's an opportunity here, Aquarius, for you to move forward in this situation. Maybe someone is coming forward to you. Like maybe, you know, they've gotten over whatever their past and now they're looking to, you know, move forward within this situation. You know, maybe their life has changed. Maybe, you know, that, that storm that they left you in is forming in their own life. But somebody definitely got a choice or decision here. They can go forward or they can go back, okay? They can go back to that storm or they can go towards the light, right? Towards a place that'll make them happier. But the choice is definitely yours, you know? Whoever drives this red pickup truck, this is the person that's coming forward, they got a red pickup truck. I keep getting a red pickup truck. A Durango or a Dodge. Ford. Someone's really, really afraid to come forward though. They like want to come in and, and, and say what they need to say. But they are so afraid of the reaction, right? Like they try to be a badass, but they're really not. They're really sensitive and soft in the inside, right? But what they're hoping is that you would just come for it and they won't have to. They're hoping that you will make the first move, that you that you will be the one to make things happen, make things possible. I feel like somebody is getting ready to stand in a motherfucking power and it's been a long time coming. Whatever this is, is an opportunity to stand in your power again, to stand up, to, to be strong, to be wise, to be knowledgeable, just to stand up and be like, this is what's best for me right now, right? This is what's best. I can no longer just sit here and do this. I'm doing this. And now it's the time for me to do it. Because if I don't do it now, I will never do it. And I better do it while I have the strength and courage to. I'm going to go ahead and do it. I'm going to take care of this. And I see somebody doing what they need to do to get out of that that um, stuck in a rut energy, right? Being able to, to really like see this is not good for me, right? And I see like once you do that, man, all your power is coming back to you and you're going to feel so beautiful, right? You're going to feel like, damn, that's all it took all this time, all these months I was sitting here. That's all it took. You know what, though? I don't know what this person's so afraid of. They are so afraid to come towards you. Who was in love with a stripper? I don't know why I got that song. I'm in love with a stripper. Somebody was in love with a stripper or somebody used to strip. Side note for somebody. Yeah, Aquarius, it's time for you to stop watching tarot. It's time for you to take your power back. You have... Like I said, you have all the resources you need to take your power back. You've been watching a lot of different tarot readers. The different tarot readers have been confusing you. You need to step back, stop watching so many. You can select one, two, or three that you really, really like, 
right? That's really like resonate with you and stop watching various readers. Stop like, like going from this reader to that reader to from this message to that message, right? Because the energy should be a collective energy. Find you three readers that resonate with you and stick to those readers because there's a lot of confusion and stuff. You know, all this, I see this and I see that. And a person ain't seeing shit, right? It's too many. Uh, for you, I just get, stop watching so many tarot readers. It's too many different voices coming within your head. Stop watching so many tarot readings. Like it's killing your confidence. It's killing your vibe. Stop watching shit about karmics, the third party. Stop watching stuff that's going to kill your soul. Stop watching things that's going to inspire you to grow and move forward. Okay, because there's light and dark in tarot readers, light and dark tarot readers. Find people that walk in light, that talk in light and stop walking over there in darkness. You know, the things that make you feel like even more messed up by the time you leave it. And, you know, those things that inspire you, make sure you tap into them, even if it's not me, you know, but make sure you tap into the right ones. The light and not the dark. Not the ones that's going to make you feel worse about your situation, okay? This will make you feel better, I'm telling you. Because, baby, what you don't know is once you make this power move, I mean, I feel like what you finna do for yourself is a power move, Aquarius. I mean, when I say power, I mean a power move. It's going to give you your hope, your strength, your dreams, your joy, all that stuff back. Things are getting ready to turn in your favor. And guess where the will is turning. If the will is turning in your favor, guess who favor it ain't turning in? Yeah. Okay, that other person. When the will when the will turn in your favor, guess that energy gotta go somewhere. Everything in life is energy, right? So that energy gotta find its home. Who can I, where can I go And this, I'm energy, where can I go, where can I land? Oh, I guess I got to go back to the person that sent that energy out. So, you know, there's that person. Now, here they go. Meanwhile, you won't break my soul. 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 And I'm telling everybody. And everybody's like, oh, Aquarius, I'm so happy you're doing better. I'm so happy you're feeling better. Oh, you so deserve happiness and joy and love and peace. And, you know, like, that's what's trying to enter your life at this time, Aquarius. Like, beautiful things. You know, you got, even though you might have all these emotions, Aquarius, you have the card of meditation for peace and serenity. Don't that person look happy despite of being like overwhelmed with emotions like yeah i'm overwhelmed with emotions but i'm down here i'm in peace i i know what it is now you know like it's like getting to that place wow oh because those waters are healing waters for you that's why you're gonna be at peace okay and you're gonna learn to accept this love or accept that you love this person or you love the situation but you're also gonna learn that it's time for some type of positive change and it's coming, okay? Let me take off my my clothes of mourning. Let me put on something better. Let me get dressed, okay? Maybe some of you guys haven't got dressed in a really, really long time. It's time to. It's time to, Aquarius. You know, I was going to give you get you some what they feel about you, but this reading is about you, Aquarius. And I feel like with all the tarot readings you don't watch, you already know how they feel about you. This reading is for you, you know, just like my cards, for whatever reason, just been blurry this whole week. Somebody, somebody hasn't seen this situation clearly, but watch like next week, how everything kind of clears itself up, how everything looks better. You know, we'll see. So let's go ahead. You guys, I've been collecting these. Oh my goodness. I think I got the full set now. The Zotar speaks out the Zotar box. I, I think I got I think I got a deck here now. <laughs> I've been wanting to like collect the deck. Okay. But let's see. What does Aquarius need to know right now? One card, please. One card, please. One card, please. 
One card, please. Wow. Okay, the one that was in my hand, I guess. All right. All righty. Wow. Looks like some happiness or something coming to somebody. He's smiling like hell. Let's see. You are a very virtuous person. You have chosen the path of righteousness and you will be very happy. You are not easily influenced. Your relatives have a great deal of respect for you. They know that you have a keen mind and an understanding nature. You have a good sense of values. You love a beautiful home. And one of these days, you will be in possession of one. Whew. Happiness. Okay. Your lucky numbers, Aquarius, are zero. I mean, zero. Are one, 19, 31, 6, 21, and 18. Okay. Oh, Aquarius, I'm so happy for you, boo, because it's time to break out. Of, break out. Just break out. Break out of that darkness and go into that light. And then you just start floating. You know, once you start floating, when you swim, you ain't got to use as much pressure you had to use to get there. You could just, yeah, peace. Okay, Aquarius. But either way, that's the message I have for you. I thank you so much for tapping into Black Madonna HP's Table Etiquette. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, love, peace, and so. Take care.